Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays FTL. I am going to confirm that my god-awful in-progress game is going to leave. And I'm going to play as the Swallow this time, because if you remember correctly on our ill-fated attempt last time uh, with the uh, B layout of the ship, the Red Tail, we actually did make it all the way to the Rebel flagship. We died during the second phase. We shouldn't have even made it past the first stage, to be honest with you. Um, let's get started and I'll explain what's going on with the Swallow here. It's my I, I've done two jumps as the Swallow before. It didn't go very well, and that's why we're doing a new episode here. Um, the Swallow's a very interesting ship. It seems like it kind of sucks. It starts with a clone bay. Cool. No teleporter, though. Uh, it starts with a, uh, a Lanius crew member, and it starts with a second level of sensors, which it seems like it's kind of based around... Not necessarily based around boarding, but, you know, sending your Lanius crew member into rooms where they're going to be uh, most effective, and then uh, taking them out. Uh, the problem is... The weapons that it starts with are just god-awful. So, the Ion Stunner, it, you know, it can be good for taking out enemy shields, but it's it's also pretty annoying. Um, the dual lasers are fine. I mean, two lasers for one power is a pretty sweet deal. That being said, uh, you know, it, it's a little bit behind the eight ball relative to where you start as with the, um, the Red Tail, for example. So, with shields completely out, we actually can get some stuns off on maybe uh, the pilot to keep them from getting away. We really need to get some scraps so we can upgrade. Second level of shields would be nice. Um, and buying a teleporter <clears throat> might be the next thing on my docket, actually. So now that we've delayed that FTL charge, we only took one hull damage there, which is actually okay. Start with 13 scrap. Uh, we do need to get the next level of doors, but we have the second level of sensors, which is nice, even though most of the time I don't upgrade that. I just get a crew member and put him in there. Uh, we upgrade our reactor for two missiles, three drone parts. That seems totally reasonable. We can keep our clone bay active now, um, until we want to put this power into something else. It's a good trade, I would say, although reactor power is only like 25 right now. Alright, so this is uh, pretty much exactly the ship that killed me earlier. If you run up against a flat cannon right off the very bat, you're pretty much just fucked, I think. But one of the things that might be advantageous for us here is um, that we actually can get some shots off before they have a chance to hit us. So our sensors did get hit, but we did take out their, uh, their flat cannon. They have an NG on their ship. Which scares me a little bit, but let's just take a quick uh, pop at the shields here. Take those offline, and then maybe we can fire the Ion Stunner consistently at weapons. Um, let's see. It, it has landed. All weapons are offline. I think I'm going to hit the piloting system just to make sure we don't fall further behind the 8-ball. They want to surrender, but that surrender awful offer is pretty awful. Um, they have one weapon back online now. Stunner comes in. We'll hit shields again because their flat cannon still is not back online. And uh, that should keep us in a pretty good position here. Let's make sure to send our crew member back. We should probably just save it. And, uh, yeah, stop this guy from fixing the weapons. Fire on oxygen. Doesn't really matter, I guess, though. And that ship is dead. Okay. The flat cannon is scary because flat cannon Mark I apparently charges at exactly the same rate as uh, the dual laser. Which seems super unfair to me. This thing's catching up pretty quickly. Uh, seems super unfair to me considering how much better the flat cannon is. But I guess... Um, what do they have? Beam and laser. Could be dangerous, but we should be fine. I guess the flat cannon isn't necessarily better because some of the shots that don't hit systems won't do hull damage, I guess. But still, um, seems a little dubious to me. Okay, we at least stopped the beam from firing. It looked like it was about to go, so we, we got kind of lucky there. This time the ion stunner is going to go off again. They have an NG, so I think uh, it's in my best interest to just kind of keep uh, you know, shooting directly into the room where the NGs actually are here. This should allow me to, you know, start fires, do damage to them. I'm probably not going to kill them before I kill the hull. But I can at least keep all the weapons offline. And, um, you know, the problem with the NGs is obviously that they uh, replenish uh, systems so quickly. So being able to take them out is quite nice. This seems like basically a no-brainer. What would make me feel more com confident in our ship's abilities? Uh, more laser power. More power in general. Just anything that could, you know, tear through shields a little bit better. That was a, a pretty good haul for the, this sector. We are going to have to jump through this nebula, I think. That's okay, our fuel's alright, as long as we don't run into some terrible situations. That was giant alien spiders. No such luck. Uh, that is probably my least favorite. Oh good, our reactor power is halved. Okay, let's look at this for a second. They have no shields either. I don't think we need the ion stunner. It would be nice to have some shields active though, so I'm going to put up our first bar of shields. That should protect me soon from this beam drone. Ooh, we got lucky, our shields came up just in time. So with two beams, I'm actually not sure that they can even hurt me. So we're going to dual laser, um... 
I guess, their piloting system to start with. Just take that completely out. We could turn off our oxygen to get our ion stunner working, but I think that's kind of a dangerous uh, proposition. In the meantime, maybe we'll fire on uh, oxygen quickly just to give them something to worry about. Oh, now they've turned their shields on, probably because I took power away from other systems. Okay, that's, that's smart. I get it. But as long as they don't have a second weapon, they actually can't really do anything here, so I'm ill-concerned. We can just wait it out here, and uh, I don't even know what I want to hit next. Let's hit engines, maybe. Keep them busy, repairing multiple systems. That'll lower their dodge chance, presumably. Their shields are now fixed, but they're not even using them. I really hate these ion storms, but sometimes they do work out in your favor. The thing with the... The reason I don't like nebulas is because plasma storms and... Uh, I think you can run into plasma storms outside of ions. Or, sorry, outside of nebulas, but... Plasma storms and ion storms, that's not quite good enough since I don't have a missile launcher. Uh, they... Sometimes work out in your favor, but they disrupt the equilibrium that you have in FTL, which is not a good thing. Because usually the equilibrium is very much set in the player's favor, so... You know, any kind of repositioning of the board causes problems. So our our engines are not powered up at all. So we need to get those going here. And then we'll turn on our shields when we jump to the next beacon. The problem is it does take a second for shields to come back online after giving them power. I, Yeah, I'm not thrilled about this for basically that exact reason. Where's our door system? Okay, so you're going to come into our door system here because we are going to have... Oh, our door system broke. Wonderful. Um, I would love it if the clone bay was actually powered up, and we want uh, ion stunner powered up and engines powered up as well. Uh, you know, you know what? Uh, gotta deal with this guy. We got. Oh, you're in the. I don't want you to be there. We might actually have to like micromanage our pilot, like take our our pilot away to make this work. But what we're gonna go to town on for the enemy here, even though they have some scary lasers going on. Uh, and obviously the asteroids as well. We're gonna go to town on shields because we need to be able to take out their asteroids or let the asteroids take them out. So, presumably this should, yes, start working. No fires yet, that's okay. All right, we're gonna hit their weapon room to stun that. This is gonna hurt us. Yeah, oxygen is now out. That's dangerous. Uh, as long as our clone bay works, it doesn't really matter. So we can just have this guy start piloting the ship. That fire is something we'll take care of once our doors work again. Fire on shields. They're gonna be dead here. Okay. Everything is fine. We just need to take a second to get it fixed up. Um, you two should very quickly come and fix the door system. And you know what, Lanius, why don't you get in there and fix that breach? So we want to get the door system fixed up to avoid uh, potential problems with the fire. Like that. So now these will open up. And these two humans can come in here. Uh, which way are they going to go? I don't think you should actually go this way. Uh, maybe you should go this way. Oh, the fire spread. God damn it. Well, it's okay because we can get our Lanius crew member to repair the oxygen. It's not the end of the world. It does kind of suck, though. There we go. Close all doors. Should be able to get it repaired, but let's send our, uh, our human crew member in there now. He got very close to dying, but we have a clone base, so it's not a huge deal. Oxygen's back. Open all doors. Okay. We lost, uh, we lost some hull integrity there. And it was kind of a scary fight, but we made it through. And we made it through okay. Why? Close all doors. Because of the fucking Lanius, he was sucking oxygen out of the rest of the ship. That's me being an idiot. That's okay, though. Remember, we have this clone bay, so even though we have RTOM and 9 health, it's okay. That was me being stupid, but but life's still good. Technically. Uh, what do we have at this beacon? Sell three drone parts for 12 scrap? Sure, I will do that. We'll jump to this other beacon as well, I think, but I'm gonna upgrade shields quickly. And uh, I know that we can get one more bar of reactor power, too, because we got that extra... Um, did we not? No? Oh, maybe that was on a different run. That run where I died, like, two jumps in. Um, I would love to keep the clone bay active. I know we don't need to in order to get the heal. I would still like to, because one of our crew members might die if they just get shot by a missile once, but 25% dodge chance is pretty nice. Okay, so that was just, like, minus two fuel for no reason. That's okay, though. We made it through Sector 1. Got a little bit of a, a heal from the clone bay here. And Mantis or Civilian? Well, we have to jump through some nebulas either way. I'm going to start with Civilian just to keep things a little on the easier side here. But, uh, how do I feel about the Swallow so far? I, uh, a little dubious, perhaps, would be a good way to put it. 
I don't know if that word actually makes sense here. So we can't defend against missile launchers any better than lasers, which means we should, I think, effectively just go to town on them here. Um, might as well fight them is what I'm trying to get at, I suppose. So we're going to do what we always do now, and that's uh, take shields out ASAP. And uh, once shields are out, which is working pretty well here, we're going to stun them as they try to repair those shields as well. But then we're going to fire our, um, yeah, our laser at... Uh, the weapon systems, just to take those offline. Now they only have one laser. You know what would be a really nice augmentation here? Is, um, oh, oh, lucky me. Uh, a really nice augmentation here would be repair arm. Uh, whole repair arm, I guess it is. That seems to me like that would be a, a huge get for me. I'm gonna take out their clone bay, even if they get their weapon back up. Uh, this will maybe allow me to actually kill their crew. So now they're gonna go repair the clone bay, which doesn't surprise me. Let's hit, um, let's hit the dude repairing the clone bay. Yeah, so now he's dead. And, I don't know, we'll stun the dude repairing the weapon. I think we're still gonna have to kill the hull before we kill anything else, but... What up? Oh, big miss, I suppose, but... We dismantled that ship pretty easily, despite the fact that it looked like it had maybe superior hardware. And we picked up a ton of scrap! 55 scrap is crazy town for this early on. Maybe we'll be able to pick up a uh, burst laser or something here. We have a Vulcan. Interesting. Scrap recovery arm is pretty good. We can't really afford anything else. I have nothing to sell. Uh, and we the only thing we can buy is charge ion. Requires two power. Uh, I think charge ion might actually be a pretty sweet pickup. Charges in six seconds. Ion stunner charges in ten seconds. Requires one power, though, versus requiring two power. The other thing we could get is Scrap Recovery Arm, which gives you 10% more scrap for the rest of the game. That's probably worth about 100 scrap, so we'd gain 50, but... I don't know, it might be worth more than 100 scrap. Let's say, like, maybe... 4 scrap per jump times 12 jumps per sector. That's like 50, eh, it, I mean, it could be amazing. This is kind of a weird, uh, option here. You know what? I think I'm gonna go, uh... I think I'm gonna go Scrap Recovery Arm. Even though the Charge Ion is probably an awful lot better than the uh, Ion Stunner. For many reasons, it charges faster, it doesn't stun, but you can charge up more shots to take out more bars of shields, it only requires twice as much power, etc, etc. Um, but getting 10% more Scrap for the rest of the game, you know, I'm, I'm a... I'm your uncle at heart. I'm the guy who likes, you know, compound interest, I'm the guy who, uh, you know, Started his retirement fund when he was nine. That's not true, by the way. That would just be ridiculous. Um, can we get anything here? This robot thing could save us a ton of time. Could I buy it off of you? I want to say no. They still gave us 23 scrap. Okay, so that's good. Um, that could have been like a cool option that maybe would lead to another dialogue tree, selling our Lanius crew member. Um, but I really didn't want to do that just in case it went like terribly wrong and he's like I why father Why have you forsaken me and then like killed two of our crew members and left or something like that? Um, so we we got some free scrap, but we took some hull damage here and Our piloting systems obviously in a weird place, but it's okay. We'll just get that uh, oxygen vented out and uh, Once that's done, I mean we could send the Lanius in there to repair it right away or we could just um, you know close all doors Wait for the oxygen to dissipate, and then, uh, walk back in there and repair it. 65 scrap, where does that money go? Ideally, uh, you know, we would get a new weapon for free or something like that, and then I would just pay for the weapon power to use it, but... Realistically, new weapon plus new weapon power. Um, and there is a store there, which I did want to visit. Allow me to recaffeinate here for a second. Okay, they have an I a heavy ion and a missile launcher. That's actually a pretty scary combination here. Considering how early in the game we are. I'm proud of myself for recognizing that that's a heavy ion as well. I think it's from using the Zoltan ship so much. I uh, might as well fire the... The... Are you kidding me with that shit? Like the dual laser actually missed? Uh, we only need to heal one bar of power. We might just want to escape from this one. This looks... Nightmarish. And... Thank God their missile missed. Of course two of our shots missed as well. Oh, there was a breach in there that we had to fix up. Okay. That's... That's fortunate. Come on, miss. 25%. Alright, that's just hull damage. We can just repair that. Do they have a 50% dodge chance? Like a fully 50% dodge chance? Because that's certainly what it fucking seems like right now. Oh, good miss. 
Mind you, we've dodged 50% of the missiles as well, but then they just dodged 100% of our shots there. So their ion weapon is actually worthless. I'm sorry to tell them that. Um, we're going to hit their weaponry, though, because we need to take that missile launcher offline. Uh, why is their ion weapon worthless? Because they can't get through our shields with it, and their missile launcher goes through shields anyway. So we are going to take out their shields. The reason we're going to do that is to um, make it so our ion stunner can actually hit weapons, take out that missile launcher. Same with dual laser. Come on, you can land before it's repaired. Thank you. And we'll try this again. Good. Keep him busy like this. We got him in a nice equilibrium. Land. Wonderful. Try this again. Hit the shields. We have a very tenuous grasp on, uh, you know, this equilibrium, but it's working. You can do it. Ah, you can do it. Thank you very much. All right, dual lasers. Do what you do. Thank you. Uh, two fuel and two scrap, plus a drone part I'll never use. Not really that worthwhile. Did they actually get a missile off there? No, they didn't. Okay, that was temporarily frightening. Why would you keep your ion active instead of your, like, one power missile launcher in a situation like this? Very silly game. It's a very silly decision on your part. I think the NG who so diligently repaired may have died before the actual ship explosion, and I hope that was the case so we didn't have to see all of his friends die, because I have a lot of respect for that NG. He, he was just a good workman, you know? So we have a crew teleporter. Um, it's an interesting situation, isn't it? Because, well, we can't buy it anyway. We can sell our scrap recovery arm, so let's disregard that. Uh, but it's an interesting situation, I thought, because we um, could use one Lanius as a crew, but I don't think that's actually very, or as a, like a crew to be teleported, but I don't think that's actually very good. I think this is a new background here. And we got a hull missile, okay. I don't think it's very good because I'm pretty sure our uh, our crew member would just die, which is fine because we have the clone bay. But uh, without hacking, I'm pretty sure they would just like not even have a chance to really vent the ship that properly. So I think that would be bad. Now that we have another uh, weapon, this is okay. We have an ion storm here. Ion storm. I find it's scary, and I, I don't like the equilibrium being disrupted, as I mentioned. But I do think that the ion storm benefits the player, and I'll explain why. We're we probably could fire like one round here to start with so let's let's fire our round and we want to take out weapons we want to take out weapons because soon the shields are going to come offline due to the ion pulse so the ion pulse has taken out shields um we should have stunned the uh the weapon personnel there probably obviously but the second ion pulse is where things get scary because it could take out our weapons um it didn't it took out our clone bay and our shield still but mostly our clone bay um, so while these guys are stunned in here, we're just going to keep hitting them with the laser. Both proverbial barrels. Uh, I, don't, I don't think we'll be able to kill them before we kill the hull. It's a theoretical possibility though. We, we could just go after the oxygen instead. Now our weapons are completely offline, uh, which is always unfortunate, but that's okay. Gives them a brief chance to get back into the game here. They will be able to fire a couple missiles at us. It's alright. They still have two crew members left, huh? Uh, shields are completely out. Yes, and their oxygen is completely out, but our piloting's gone. Frustrating. Um, we're gonna stun the shields here and fire on weapons. Why would I stun shields? I guess I just wanted that guy to stay in that room. Uh, we'll open these doors. This is mishandled. That should have gone a little harder on weapons. Especially now that our dodge chance is like zero. Um, shouldn't have stunned shields again. Let's change that auto fire into a place where it's more useful. I'm going to take that. Eight missiles is uh, a crazy value, even if we don't use missiles. We have a drone now. We can use that drone for drony type things. We're ready to jump, so I think I'm going to do it. Um, yeah, we can use that drone to, uh, to to either use it or to sell it. Um, free scrap, always nice. And is everybody okay? Everybody's fine. We'll go head to the next sector. We're going to go uh, Zoltan Homeworlds. This way means we, I mean, anyway, means we only had to go through w one nebula, but it is a little bit of a scary situation here. So, we have some options. We have 130 scrap. I'm hoping to find a store, but I also really kind of want to get the hull missile working. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Because what, if I went to a store, what would I want to get? Can I get another bar? I can't get another bar. Uh, I would want to get a, um... Put this like here, maybe. Uh, I would want to get a, uh, why can't I come up with this? A weapon! So I would need to buy at least one or two bars of weapon power anyway, in all likelihood. So why don't we just invest in that right now, when we can also get some value out of having our, uh, hull missile. Now, I don't 
have any fondness for the hull missile. No sentimental value attached to it for me. So, oh, flat cannon. Always a little frightening. Uh, I'm not going to use the hull missile yet. That should be pretty obvious, I would have to guess. But, give it a second here. Where do we fire the hull missile? They have two bars of shields, so I think a hull missile on shields is not the worst idea. There we go. Stun him up. Open up one bar of shields. Enough of those flat cannons missed to make my life a little easier. So we hit with the ion stunner. And then I think maybe we go on weapons just to give us a brief reprieve from that flat cannon. And they didn't get a chance to really repair the shields as much as I thought they would. So we'll actually get a chance, I think, especially now that there's a breach in there, uh, to really go to town. And that killed that Zoltan. Wow, that is surprising. So if we just keep stunning the Zoltan in here, um, I'm pretty sure that he'll just die due to health loss as a result of the uh, lack of oxygen. Right? Or we could just shoot him a couple of times as well. We got stealth weapons for free. Holy crap. That's super good. You probably don't need me to tell you that. We don't have cloaking yet, but if we get it, that's a 50 scrap value for free. Or we could end up selling it as well. His mental state is questionable. He's not worth the risk. Sometimes he'll become a free crew member, and Lord knows we could use a free crew member right now. Oh, come on, really? But, um, well, I'm content with our current situation, provided we don't die. Our weapon power is really the, the worst part of our run right now, but... Would taking the charge ion and selling the uh, ion stunner have made a huge difference? I don't believe so. Obviously, yes, we've got ourselves in a little bit of a conundrum here. I'll, I'll just fix that breach with the Lanius crew member real soon. Don't you worry. Um, that missile hit, and that's horrifying, because it did take out two bars of weapon power. Dare we take our Lonnie as crew member in there to help the, the repairs? Like, that's the real problem, isn't it? Because, oh my god, okay, well, he's got to repair the shields. And that bomb went off in the oxygen? Are you fucking my dickhole with, like, a rusty coat hanger or something? Oh, this is just silly now, isn't it? That fire should go out real soon. We're just gonna jump away, though, because this is just absolute madness. You know what? You repair the oxygen. See you it, See you fucks in hell. Are we... Okay, thank God. This is not combat. Uh, this is combat. No, this is not combat. Okay. So we're gonna live. I, of course this happens, like, immediately after I say, like, I'm pretty comfortable with the situation. Um, but the oxygen's gonna get repaired. We should probably activate this clone bay just in case things go terribly wrong here. Uh... Send the Lanius in there to repair that. Why don't you come over here and repair the sensors? So, I, I mean... I'm my own worst enemy, right? Because I'm coming into this situation and I'm being like... Why are there so many ships with Zoltan energy shields? It's because I went to the Zoltan sector. But I oftentimes don't pay attention to that. I just pay attention to the... Is it green or red? And that, you know, is in indicative of whether or not I want to go there. Um, this Lanius is like the slowest repairman of, of all time. That's okay. Um, he should come in here and repair this breach, and we'll get our human to actually finish the job on the shields there. Uh, we desperately need a store. No question about that. We desperately need a few things, to be honest with you. Can you uh, just fix that breach and the shields maybe a little bit faster? Considering we're on Sector 3, that Zoltan ship did a real fucking number on us, didn't it? Is there a... St oh, the store is at the end. So this is combat. We have a choice. We can go combat, exit, store, or we can go non-combat, nebula, unknown, store. I think that's the way that we want to go in order to maybe give ourselves a better chance of not getting just shot with lasers and killed. I don't really like this ship so far, but I might be mistaken in that. You know, it's, it's very short-sighted on my part to say I don't like this ship after such little time. So, please be more friendly to me. Why am I in danger? It said there was no combat here. Oh, intruders on board. Okay. Well, uh, sensors are out. We'll just depower engines and get our clone bay working. And they're going to attack our clone bay right off the bat? Are you serious? And of course there's the fucking three of them too, right? It can't just be two of them. Um, well, this is not going to work then. We can't handle it this way. So we have to go in here. Oh my god, they're in our door system too. I think this might be the end of this run. I'm, I'm like trying to figure out ways that I can make this work. And I don't see them. I really... Maybe we have to like hide on the other end of our ship. And I know our clone bay doesn't work anymore. And our doors don't even work anymore. And you no, know, don't get in the room with the Lanius crew member. Okay. How do we do this? We gotta be the stealthiest motherfuckers of all time. 
They're actually going to kill our ship just by breaking all the systems. We have to fix the clone bay, though. Otherwise, we're just done. So let's walk through here. You can make it uh, very barely. Now, you know what? Hang out here for a second. Oh, but the doors have been broken, so everything's just venting oxygen. Oh, they've just been closed now. Okay. Fix this clone bay. You can do it. You're the greatest repairman of all time. Believe in yourselves. We're dead. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say fuck the swallow. You can't see, but I actually did uh, double middle fingers there. It's the, the best score I've ever gotten with it. Sector 3 on normal. Thanks for watching. Uh, there won't be a part 2. <laughs> there might be another episode tomorrow, though. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the episode in spite of my ineptitude or maybe because of it, click like if you liked the video. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.